First thing first, it's really hard for me to not spoil anything when I do this review. So go to us this time for the summary if you are allergic to spoilers. You good? Okay? Okie dokie! Spearfarer is a field trip game by Thunder Lotus Game, the developer that made Jotun and Sunder. As the name suggests, the game is about being the creepy old dude on the boat that collects weird Greek coins as payment for ferrying souls to the afterlife. Just joking, he just Fuck this shit, I'm out. And now it is your job to make sure souls pass on like this and not like this. No pressure, as you don't really and aren't supposed to ferry every spirit you've met, only 11 for a spoiler reason. And that's good because each of these spirits either have a top tier character development or a god tier of it. The game will not be the same if any of the spirits that were on my boat is removed. That's how good the character is. Now that's where the game truly shines at. So when you bring a spirit on the boat, they will transform from a shiny NPC into a furry. The undisturbing kind. All of them has their own long unique quest line to do that reveals more of their past, regrets and desires. You know there's a saying that when you're at this door, your life flashes by. Now that's basically the long quest line given by these spirits. And many of them can hit you hard in the Kokoro as they are relatable. You see, there's this cute little mushroom spirit named Stanley. He represents what being a pure, naive, curious child would be. He likes candies and french fries, gets bored easily. If you make him happy and like you, he'll start to follow you around, just like any child would. He also says a swear word without knowing it, and this relates to me pretty well because, short story, when I was in primary school, a classmate of mine suddenly went, Oh, teacher, she say F U C K! Then innocent old me was like, What is F U C K? And then I proceeded to spam it for shits and giggles, S U K F U C K F U C K! I was sent to the discipline office that day. It's still funny every time I think about it though. Then there's this nerdy green parrot like thingy that likes pizzas and dragons who has an unclean bedroom but keeps his figurine in order. That's my dream bedroom. You could say that he is my... <coughs> spirit animal. Even better, there's a dedicated hug button and all of them has their own favorite dishes that correspond to their personality. It's just fantastic. The spirits on my boat are pretty much alive to me. It's as alive as the world you will be traveling here in the spirit realm. The spirit realm ain't exactly humongous, but every place you go is beautifully crafted and has their own theme to it. Mainly the forest, the city, and... Konnichiwa! Welcome to Japan! I had fun exploring each places. Some has Metroidvania elements in it such that you need to have certain abilities in the future to access it. So some backtracking is to be expected in this game. The platforming is pretty simple and nothing punishing about it, but getting to find the nicely concealed treasure totems still feels rewarding at times. There's the occasional mini side quest happening in some area, which is nice. In general, exploration on land is usually interesting and chill. On land, because on the boat is a different story. The gameplay on the boat if I am honest, I feel it's either boring or grindy. Let's talk about all the events on the map first. That's a lot. Many which is available to play after you have the representative spirit on your boat. The thing is, all of them are pretty much the same. That is, running around your boat to touch your objective. 
you go from touching jellyfish to lightning to fireflies to sh all of them are really just chasing different objects. That's not really much new mechanics and your boat is your platform, so it gets kinda still really fast. Is it beautiful and aesthetic? Fuck yes, I give that a 9 out of 10. But is it worth replaying this mini game? I doubt that. It's artistically and conceptually amazing, but all of the gameplay seem to be either oversimplified or missed opportunity. For example, this one here you has you chasing ghosts around the boat, with sort of like a ghost vision. They could have instead make the ghost vision a toggle button like press E to turn on and off during the minigame, such that when it's off, you can't see the ghosts but they don't run away from you. And when you press it on, it loves to see it but they'll go ah and run away after 0.2 seconds or something. But for now, it's just another generic chasing stuff minigames like the rest. Even a simple modification like catching jellyfish with a net like Spongebob, instead of just walking towards them would have made a much interesting option. Then there's your boat buildings. You know how people joke about why are we enjoying farming, fishing, doing chores in general in video games, but then when you do it in real life, you hated it. That's 50% of the gameplay here. The gameplay on the boat feels like a very elaborate loading screen minigame, as it mainly consists of you waiting on your boat to reach its destination. And then during that time, you'll water the plants, press a lot, one by one. Water the plants, crush your minerals, one by one. Water the plants, making sure everybody is happy and receiving a hug along their with their favorite meal. Ah, finally. Plant the seed. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. What the the- 30 hours into the game when I have like 100 apples, wools and eggs, I started to just activate this button and alt tap into reddit or facebook whenever my boat is moving. That is all for this review. It has a wonderful cast of characters that prove quality is far more important than quantity, and a bunch of grinding tasks that proves exactly the same thing. The aesthetic and music of this game is just phenomenal, it's fantastic. It's a game that perfectly emphasizes the phrase, don't be sad because it's over, be glad that it happened. It definitely touched my heart and perhaps caressed my very soul too. Because of that, I'll be giving it an 8 out of 10. Wow. Could have been 9 if it weren't so grindy. Thank you Thunder Lotus for this game, do like and sub if you like it, see you next time.